What's going on, fish family? This is Roberto with RC Aquatics, and I appreciate you joining my channel, Fish Fingers. Now, if this is your first time joining the channel, make sure you punch that subscribe button, smack that like button, and ding the notification bell so you don't miss out on the future content that I come out with. So before we get into anything, I want to start off by saying I hope everybody is doing okay. I hope everyone's fine. I know this is some hard times right now. A lot of people are losing jobs, but we're not going to go ahead and dwell on the negative. We're going to go ahead and speak on the positive. Go ahead and use this time wisely, man. If you have any dreams, any goals, anything that you've been uh, held back from due to your nine to five or whatever excuse you may have, go ahead and this is the perfect time to knock it out right now. So without further ado, let's get that out the way. I hope everyone's doing okay. But in this video, what you all will be seeing is I made some additions to the backyard guppy farm that I did in the corner of my house. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. I actually added some new guppies into the backyard guppy farm. The, the guppies that I got from Susan from SLC Aquatics, those green deltas that I got, um, I added a male and one female. It wasn't a trio. I know you guys are going to say, well, you should have two females in with the male. I get it, but, you know, we're going to go ahead and work with this and, and, uh, and get this moving. So I got the other male and the two females that she gave me. I still got them in the garage in the fish room. But the male and the female, the uh, extras that she gave me, I added to the backyard guppy farm. Everything's okay. I'll go ahead and show you guys updated videos on those fish. I added also a um, feeder female guppy to uh, another backyard tub that you also will see in the video. And I added the two male endlers in, and you'll see in the footage uh, in the video, I added the two male endlers with her as well. You know, I know it's two males and whatnot. She's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. Um, what else do we got? What else do we got? We're doing a lot of good things. This right here, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I'm not going to go ahead and show that entirely, but I, I'm really working my butt off to get that completed for you guys. Um, I'm actually going to be posting a poll um, shortly on my uh, my YouTube community. So it, I, I need your opinion, guys. I, it's either one or the other. I'll go ahead and post that. Um, shortly, but let's go ahead and just get into the video. I want to show you guys what I did to the backyard guppy farm without further ado Let's go So here on the left side that container with the two by four on it I put the green Delta guppies actually one male one female of the green Delta guppies and um, Added some uh, plants in the corner there did some some cosmetic upgrades as well but these are the uh, Dumbo red mosaics that I got from Jesse out of AC Aqua. There's the male and his fins are really nipped up. Uh, the tail has been getting beaten up by the female in here. I think she has ADD or something. She's super aggressive. Uh, she's at a hundred every time I check this container. She swims super fast back and forth. I mean, I don't know where the hell she gets this energy from. I'm not sure. I mean, the, none of my guppies in my garage um, are that active. So as you can see, there she is just flying by the video. Um, but she she's been she's been beating up my guy here, man. This is one of my favorite males. Um, so I, I may be bringing him back in the garage. I'm not too sure. I've been checking on them numerous times throughout the day, but she is brutal. Um, sorry for my underwater footage, guys. It's gonna get better. But there's the female, man. I mean, she uh, she doesn't play any games. She's she's a real one. All right, so here we have a five gallon Lowe's bucket. I have one Dumbo ear mosaic male and one female, young juvenile female that is. I will be adding another uh, female in this bucket very shortly. But these two are doing well. There's not too much going to be happening anytime soon unless I add an adult female here. Um, but I'm just letting this ride. They're getting along. Um, she's not beating him up like the other bucket that I have with the other female mosaic. So here is a five gallon trash basket container that I just used to house some more guppies. And here's some more of my dwarf black panda guppies that you see here as a young male with a bunch of juvenile females for them. So there won't be uh, breeding going on in here. I would say for a few more weeks, they're still young, but definitely glad to have another colony of these, get the stock going. Here's the new container uh, that I added the green deltas that Susan from SLC Aquatics gave me. Here you can see me putting some guppy grass in the container. I love guppy grass if you haven't uh, known that by now. And uh, this particular container I'm excited for because those green Delta guppies were beautiful. Uh, here's a piece of wood that I get. I mean, this was just a, there was a dying bush that was an eyesore in my yard. So I went ahead and pulled it out the ground. I was gonna throw it away, but I was like, you know, that, that might play a good role in one of my containers. So there we are using the, uh, some good wood, some good wood people. 
but yeah this particular container um as you can see here has the uh, green deltas one male one female i know you guys are saying you should add another female in along with that male i know that's what you should do but that's not what we're doing but look at how gorgeous that male looks in the light he's a young juvenile as well i kept the adult male that's probably one of the best looking guppies i have in my fish room he's inside with the two females we're not gonna play any games with that one we're gonna make sure that they uh they thrive and they survive and breed for me um, but here's one male one female i'm sure they're gonna do fine i'll be keeping an eye on it guys so don't uh don't get crazy but here's some underwater footage again you guys are gonna have to forgive my underwater footage i'm still new to this but there they are i mean look how good that looks the light shining through the water hitting that green guppy grass with the wood kind of oh man that's that's some stuff good stuff right there and i'm trying to get some good footage for you guys underwater and there they are they love this container so here i'm starting off with two yellow male tiger endlers i will be putting them in the container here with a female wild guppy she is pregnant so i do need to add some more guppy grass to this container but these are a uh, very good looking fish they were just not chosen um, with the other two male endlers that i'm using for the hybrid project the female panda guppies and the male uh, tiger endlers if you haven't i'll go ahead and leave a link above uh, let's go ahead and check that out but so here's the container this is just a i want to say it's like, like a 10 to, uh, 15 gallon basket plastic basket and uh it's working out fine for me so here they uh, the endlers are in the container those peak pebbles or those uh those pebbles that you see there floating uh, those are actually hydroponic uh, clay pellets um, that people normally use for like hydroponic systems or, or home gardening, things like that. But uh, look how big that female guppy is compared to that male antler, which is why I have two male antlers in along with this female guppy. Um, I'll keep an eye on them, but she definitely can hold her own. And she's, uh, again, about to drop fry, so I do need to go ahead and add some, some guppy grass into this container. But... And as you can see, the, this is during the time of day where it has direct sunlight. So I do cover these containers as well. But here's a footage of my female uh, wild guppy that is about to give birth. And again, she will be in with this container with the two male yellow tiger antlers. I'll get into that project in, a, in another video. But i um, got some plans for this little container here. And uh, as you can see, I'm putting, um, putting the female guppy into the container along with the two male antlers. But yeah, um, as you can, as you look at the container, you can see that I do have a lot of uh, of spaces that are open, so fry can get eaten when she drops fry. So again, I will be putting more guppy, a lot more guppy grass in this container. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm excited for these projects, man. I'm working hard on these videos. I'm not sure um, what the quality is as far as how you guys are, are viewing them and, and if it's something that I need to change, but. I'm trying to get this footage while I'm doing these projects. It's kind of hard, so I do apologize. Again, my underwater footage will be a lot better, but as you can see here, the two male yellow, yellow tiger endlers along with the wild female guppy. And I'm um, trying to get better in the at the multimedia side of things as far as my uh, recording and the footage that I provide to you guys. So bear with me, you know, it's getting better. Um, I appreciate all the love, you know, a thousand subscribers is a, a lot for me i know it's still a, a small channel but it's a lot for me uh, especially as how long i've been on uh, the platform so i appreciate you guys as always i hope everyone is doing okay please stay positive because being negative is a disease and now we definitely have time to be quarantined <laughs> you take care of yourselves have a good one this is roc signing out